What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. As always, I'm your host Robbie, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add Ajax Add to Cart to a Shopify theme. So here's what we're going to be building. So here I'm on the product page, and I'm going to show you how to make it so when you hit Add to Cart, it'll kind of do it in the background, display a little Added to Cart message, and update the cart count. You can see it really did add. And this is going to work site-wide. So if you're on the collection page, and maybe your collection has add the cart buttons under each product, it'll work there also. So this is kind of a short and sweet one. Uh, the follow-up video is going to be a cart drawer. So uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll get started right now. All right, so here's what I'll be starting out with today. I got a basic header right here and inside that header we have a cart icon with the cart count. And then uh, this is just a basic product form. So I'm on the product page right now. And um, you can see I'm displaying the image. We've got a variant selector and we got a quantity field. And if we look at my liquid, you can see it's just super basic. So we're displaying the image, we got the title, uh, the price, the description, and then down here is the product form. So we have a variant selector right here. We've got a quantity field and then we have a submit button. And there's zero JavaScript attached to this form at all. So when you hit submit, it's doing a normal um, form submission. It's gonna add it to cart and redirect you to the cart page. So we're going to be doing this with Ajax instead. So if we take a look in DevTools, 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 DevTools. All right, I'm editing this right now and some weird thing happened with the audio. So it's going to happen a few times, but uh, nothing good gets skipped. So sorry. Here it is right here. You can see it has action slash cart slash add and method post. So I think that would be a good way to select uh, the form on the page. So. Let's go to our scripts file, and by the way, it's just loaded at the end of my uh, body tag. And um, we want to select all of them on the page because, you know, a user might be on a collection page that has add the cart buttons under each product. So you can't uh, really say there's only going to be one, so let's get all of them. Let's go const, and we'll go add to cart forms is equal to document dot query selector all. And we're going to get all um, forms that have action equal to slash cart slash add. And that should grab them all. So now let's loop through these and add an event listener. So let's go add the cart forms dot for each. And for each form, we want to go form dot add event listener. And we want to listen to the submit event. And then it's going to get a callback function, which receives the HTML event or the form submission event or whatever. And on that, we want to go event dot prevent default. And this is just going to uh, stop the default, which the name implies, and uh, it won't redirect us or add the card anymore. So now we click and nothing happens. So now we kind of have a clean slate to do whatever we want. So we want to submit that with Ajax and we'll be using the fetch API. So let's just add some comments. Let's go prevent normal submission and then we'll go submit form with Ajax and it's going to be the fetch API so let's go and put the URL it's going to be slash cart slash add and um, the next is an object where we give it a method so ours is post and then we got to give it the form data so let's go body is equal to new form data and then you just pass in the form element and that'll get all the data. And uh, this is a promise. So let's actually use async and await. So let's put async right here. And that allows us to put await before it. So it'll wait for it to finish. And um, that should be adding at the cart. So let's go back and try it out. So let me just clear everything out of my cart. And let's go back, I'll refresh. And uh, you can see, let's open up the network tab actually. So I hit add the cart and it's sending the request with Ajax and um, we're getting a 200 back, which means it works. It worked. So it should be added to cart. So if I refresh, you can see we got one in the cart now. So it did work. So really the next thing we got to do is update this count up here automatically. So let's do that. So let's go down here and let's go update cart count. And um, we got to get the updated cart count first. So 
There is a way to do it where you add the cart and you get the cart back and you can do it all in one request. But uh, doing it this way is gonna be a lot more compatible. So you're gonna have apps had it, adding uh, hidden inputs and stuff in your form. And it's just a lot easier to just submit it like this and then fetch the cart separately. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. So let's uh, go down here and we'll go get new cart object. And we'll use the fetch API again. It's just gonna be slash cart.json. And this is also gonna be a promise, so let's go await. And we'll actually assign this one to res, as, as, as. JSON, we kinda gotta convert it, so let's go const uh, cart is equal to res.json. And this is also a promise, so we gotta await for it. And then let's just console.log the cart at the bottom. And see what we get, whoops. Hit save. Let's go back, open up our console. Now I add the cart, and it adds it, and we get back this object right here, which is our whole cart. So you can see we got the item count. We can see all the items within there. Um, you can see the note, if there is one, the total price, all that. Um, for our case, we just want the item count right here. So let's uh, go down here, and we're gonna update that element. So let's take a look at how we can select that. So if I go in here and take a look at it, and there might be multiple cart counts on the page. So you really want to make sure you select all of them, loop through them and update them all. So let's do that. Let's go document dot query selector all. And we want all dot cart count elements. We want to loop through them with four each. And then for each element, we want to go L dot text content is equal to and then we'll get that item count property off cart. So cart.item count. And that should make it update. So let's try that out. We'll refresh. So now I add the cart and it changes to three. Um, if I add 10 more to cart, it's gonna change to 13. So that's working pretty good. So another thing is kind of, it's kind of hard to tell that anything was added to cart. So usually themes or apps or whatever will display a little message under here that says added to cart. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's go back to our main product section right here. Here's the form, here's the uh, submit button down here. Let me get a drink real quick. Ah. And uh, let's just add a message underneath here. So let's go P um, class is equal to added to cart. And then inside there, we'll go added to cart slash P. And then let's add some styles to this. So let's go to our style sheet. Dot added to cart. I'll just go text align center, font size 12, uh, margin top, maybe 10 pixels. And let's see how that looks. So we go back. And I refresh. And there it is. So we don't always want that to show just after we add the cart. So let's hide it by default. So let's go display none. It has class active. We'll put display block. So now it's hidden by default. And after we add the cart, we want to add the act, add the act, add the act, add the act message. And uh, we want to make sure we get the message that's nested within uh, this form right here. So let's go form dot query selector. And we want to get dot added to cart. And we want to go class list and we want to add the cla the active class to it. There we go. And let's go back and I'll refresh. And now I hit add, it displays the message and adds the cart. So that's a basic um, Ajax add the cart. So now let's just make sure it works on the collection page. So let's go collections slash all. And I went ahead and I put a product form on each one of these with the add the cart button. And uh, let's see if it works. So I click add there, so I click add there, so I click add there, so I click add the cart. You can see it's adding it, but I don't have that message. So let's just add that real quick. So let's go to my collection page. And I'm in product grid item. So here's the form and let's just add that same message. So let's go P class is equal to added to cart. 
added to cart. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Let's add the cart. And nothing happened. Let's try again. There we go. We get the message. And this is all unstyled. But you can see all the forms on the page are working and they all have their own notification. So it's a little weird having this hard coded into, uh, into your um, liquid. So maybe you want to just kind of build this and inject it after it's added to cart. And I can show you how to do that real quick. So let's just remove this from both places. And uh, instead of just hard coding it in, let's actually build it with JavaScript and inject it in. So let's go back to our scripts here. And instead of just doing that, let's go, I'm just going to paste this in so we know how the element looks. Let's go const message is equal to document dot create element. And it's going to be a P element. And then let's add the class to it. So let's go message dot class list dot add. And it's going to have class added to cart and also class active, which we really don't even have to do the active class anymore since it's not gonna be there by default. So instead, let's just uh, delete this and get rid of the display none. So it always displays when it's in the uh, DOM. So we're giving it the class, we gotta give it text content. So let's go message.textContent is equal to, and ours is just added to cart. And then we got to append this to the form. So let's go form dot append. Um, is it append? I thought there's like append child or element or something. Element? No, let's just try append child and pass in message. This might not work, but we're going to try it. Eh, it might work. We can get rid of this now. Let's see if that works. So let's go back. And I'm just going to go back to that product form. So products or that product page. Refresh, hit add, and it works. If we go to the collection page, refresh, and it works, and it works, and it works, and it works. And uh, this was a short and sweet one today, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's going to be a follow up to this video where we build a full cart drawer. So uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know you're there. If you have a Shopify topic that you want me to cover, put it in the comment section as well. And uh, I'll see you. And uh, I'll see you. And uh, I'll see you. And uh, I'll see you.